accountable for everything you've done. Like if you're doing interviews, radio, whatever, make sure that you own up to your actions. Don't try and um, downplay it or don't try and be, um, you know, blasé or pass it off. And just push things, you know. Like I, I think I was I'm always on my social media stories, on my Instagram stories, just talking so people can see, like, your true self. Because as we know, all these reality shows are heavily edited, um, but they... It, it gives a, the, a people a chance to follow you and then to see actually what you're like. Um, and, yeah, just go, for, go with the ride because it's a freaking long one. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, like, like be, the advice I'd give people if they asked me if they were going to go on a show is just have no skeletons or be prepared to, like, have people say you out. Be prepared to, you know, have to, like, back yourself because it's – just what happens once you've gone on your show. A lot of people are looking for a quick payout or people that didn't like you in your past are looking to just sort of make you look stupider than what you've already made yourself look like on TV. Yeah, it's horrible. Like I've had I've had to cut my circle down to like a really minimal amount. Um, my mother sells stories on me. I've had like really close best friends sell stories on me. And I know it's, and it, it would say source, but I've, word for word, I know it's that I've only told that one person. And then they still will be messaging me like, going like, how are you going, babe? And you have to really just like know your circle and know who you can trust because, yeah, I, I don't know what they get out of it because, I mean, it's, it's I, I, just, I could never do that. Like I, I know secrets about people on TV and I've been on TV. I've got inboxes and stuff that I could share, but I would just never do it because it's a horrible thing to do.